Hey everybody, it's Mike Venus La Sola and I'm back. And this is to do a review on a smoke shop here in um, Jacksonville, Florida, off of Normandy called Smoke Empire, right? Yesterday, my wife and I went in there to purchase some stuff, right? And uh, supposedly the owner, right? Joshua, that's what he called himself, right? Um, was being a complete asshole, so I'm gonna give you what led up to this. About a month ago, we went in um, to buy some shisha because we we hookah, you know. Um, so we go in there, and the only reason we went there was because because of convenience. We went grocery shopping. It's in the same plaza. It's right there, and it's like we can head straight to the house afterwards. So it's like besides backtracking or going so clear across the other part of the city, we it's all right there. So that's why we went there. Now, I went there before to get cigars, and they wasn't that good. So I didn't go back there. Plus, their, their cigar price was overpriced, so I left it alone. But with the hookah, you know, it lasts a little bit longer, just about the same length as smoking cigars and it's a little bit more relaxing so we go in there to get some shisha they have some point system where you punch your phone number in you get a point right now we were doing that for a while until joshua said that oh we don't do that on tobacco products now note this is smoke empire literally 80 to 90 percent of his store is tobacco based products from shisha to loose tobacco, from cigarillos to blunts to um, anything you could think of, um, cigars, etc. So I'm like, okay, right? But it, all the other employees, they give it to us. It's not, it's not an issue. So then we go in. I want to say last week or the week before. Right after we did our performance of um, at the Slapstick Society, right here in Duval on Cinco de Mayo, we go in maybe on Monday or it's the following week, but it's not that far off from the, that day. And he was being really different. He was like talking about, oh, listen to my music. You know what I'm saying? Talking to me. I had a Dragon Ball Z shirt. I wear graphic tees. I love graphic tees. I just, you know. And I had a Dragon Ball Z one on, and he was just kind of like being really extra because the first time we met him, he was really low-key rude, you know what I'm saying? And then he gave us the five points. Now, I mean, he gave us the points. Now, if you collect five, you get half price on, on the purchase. So it ain't like we like buying up a bunch of stuff. We buy like three for 10 shisha. And... um. So he's talking, letting us listen, gave us the point. So then yesterday we go in, it's him again. This time he got on shades, just looking really like dark. And we go in there, we get the shisha, just punching the number to get the points. And then he's babbling, talking about, oh, well, um, I know I gave y'all points before, but we don't do that no more. So my wife was like, well, that doesn't seem consistent. Like, if you're a business person, you got to keep consistency and keep your word. Because the last time we came in here, you gave it to us. Well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to give it to you this time. Da, 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 da. So he got really disrespectful, man, talking about, well, don't come here anymore. So I'm like, okay, we're going to leave this review. I had to kind of sit on it because I didn't want to get on here and just look belligerent and crazy. Not giving, like the full scope of what happened. So if you in Jacksonville, Florida, you're on Normandy, do not go to Smoke Empire. Joshua, if that's what his real name is, is an asshole. And that's why he don't get no business. And it wasn't like we was just like some random shoppers. We've been going there for the past couple of months just because it's, like I said, it's convenience. But I'm like, dude, this is Jacksonville. There's so many different... Um, hookah, smoke shops, all over the city. So you're not the only person that we have to go to. And 
it's just him. It's just him. Like it was, I was kind of like, wow, like really? Yeah. And then, and then, and then my wife said, you know, don't, don't play us that trash music anymore because it, it was random. Okay. I'm gonna say this too. If you see me out in public, I'm an introvert. I'm, I'm very introverted. So like, don't get like thrown back if I'm not like, ah, you know, all amped up and shit and like want to dap up and do all, I don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? We didn't know this dude outside of those few encounters and him being extra trying to push music on us and talking to us about like trying to like rap on his music. We were like, bro, we're not doing that. You know what I'm saying? Like just cause you might have seen us on social media or you seen us probably perform or whatever, wherever you saw it, doesn't mean we want to work with you like that. And plus you're an asshole. Everybody else at the store, mad cool. Mad cool. They got one guy, he's a musician. You know, he, he's really chill. And then the other guy, he's into crystals and shit like that. So we talked to him about crystals, all types of stuff. You know what I'm saying? But this dude right here, an asshole. Complete douchebag. All right? A peon. Okay? And if you're in Duval, like I said, once again, don't go to Smoke Empire on Normandy. Just keep it moving. Go somewhere else. This dude is an asshole. And I was even going to do reviews on the, on the Shisha. The different you know flavors and stuff kind of let people know like you know if you're gonna buy some stuff this is good this is trash this is syrupy etc but not with that dude fuck him okay so normally i don't do shit like this but i'm 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 not i'm not a typer i'm gonna put this shit on social media and we're gonna do some damage because you know fuck you piece of shit all right and with that i'm mike venus la soul till next time y'all be blessed i'm I'm trying to work on some stuff, but I'm having issues with my hands, even with my pinkies now. So whenever I'm up to it, I'll do it. But I had to do this because I wasn't going to let this shit slide. So with that, y'all be blessed. Mike out.